We are in the car, and I'm sure a lot of you know what that means. We are going on a thrifting, antiquing, flea marketing adventure today. After putting all of those tips and hacks together and kind of filming my video that was up this last Thursday, which if you guys have yet to see that one, it is such a great video. So if you like thrifting or antiquing or you're just getting into it, highly suggest it because I ended up sharing with you guys my 25 top like thrifting and vintage antique shopping hacks. After editing it and posting it and reading all of your guys' comments, I was like, I actually want to go antiquing. So that is what we are doing today. The first location, which is King, King Richard's Antique Mall. And it's actually in Whittier, which is probably about an hour from my home. And we're going to check it out. It's three stories, so it should be fun. And hopefully we find some items. I'm always most interested in the ceilings at these places. Like they're always so beautiful. Just look at how much work went into that ceiling. I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Mm. 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 Oh yeah, Justin, get the can you grab that one? Yeah. That was so pretty. I love the background color in it. Yeah. And I like the unfinished. Yeah. Like edges and, and it's like really cute. See, her face is good, yeah. Sometimes they're a little scary. <laughs> Okay, how fun would it be to get one of these vintage block printing blocks and create our own fabric? Or like do like a curtain panel or something with this or make some pillows? He oh yeah. To blend his contour. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that light. That's so interesting. I should love that. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> I always try to find little oil paintings like this for the vintage drop. Uh, this one has a velvet mat, which is so interesting. Ooh. I've been looking for one of these <laughs> for a while. In there, is there any navel lint in there? No, oh no, it's man. Clean. <laughs> Love this lamp right here. It is so pretty. It actually has like a rattan or cane shade, and then the inside's actually mica, if you could see. And then it has this wood base on it. I think it's so cute. It's a hundred dollars. I think I might come back to it. Okay, do you guys remember? I actually got one of these at a flea market for ten dollars. Look at what they're selling it for, $3.25, and it says Alexis Ruder Paris Sculpture, which is so interesting. So I am going to look that up when I get home. I love how each of the little vintage booths, they've set up their own like full-on booth with like signs. This art is actually super, all three of those are really pretty. So I found this goose box, look how cute this is. Little goose. Look at this, it's a vintage malt mixer. That is so cool. I'm always on the hunt for a large vintage trophy, like a really big one that maybe could be used as a vase or like a statue. Everyone I've come across though are so expensive every single time, so maybe we'll find one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at this one, you guys, it's like a full on store. They like built it out to be a store inside. It's such a vibe. Oh my gosh, it's giving like gothic. This is a cathedral that we're inside of at the moment. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that light is. Wow. I've never seen a light like that. Medallion on the corners, and they like built out this whole little storefront. 
I don't know why I'm finding this so cute. Look how interesting this piece of furniture is. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. I think you hang glasses right here. Oh yeah, you do, you hang the glasses up in there. That's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, Justin just found these vintage suitcases that say JM, For Justin his initials. Miller. And there's also an upstairs. That's the pink oh my gosh, look at the green ceiling. It's so cool. $80! They're so good. It's so cute. Should we get, should we buy them? Hello guys, I am going to my second estate sale ever. I think I've gone to one estate sale before. I'm gonna head to some estate sales today. Check them out, I uploaded the video about mm, an hour or two ago and I just, I've been reading your guys' comments on the drive all the way over here and I just wanna thank you all so much for the sweet and kind comments. I just love the way that the space turned out. It's cute, this is a cute yard. The house is cute too. I know. Wait, why do I want that wooden jack-o'-lantern? <laughs> it's giving like chic Halloween. <laughs> These floors? Look at this, guys, it's tile and it looks like a rug. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, oh my god, what was that? I'm scared. Oh my god, you guys, what was that? I'm scared. Who was screaming though? Oh, it's that guy. Oh. I want this tree. This tree is so pretty. This outside is so pretty. I also love like the upholstery, this dark fabric. We're checking out some vintage stores in Burbank. I've actually been to none of these. Yes Baby Vintage, Madrid Antiques. We have a few. I think there's also some over here as well. Look how pretty these are. This one's so good with the three handles. I love this light so freaking much. It is so pretty. I have to get this on video so I can remember it or come back to it later. That is kind of cute. Justin goes, this is Britney Spears in the toxic video. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, I found a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tucker, he's very friendly. Is Tucker for sale? Tucker, <laughs> <laughs> come smile for the camera. Tucker! <laughs> Tucker, what did you find under the bed? Look at this copper teapot. I love this teapot. How cool is that? With like metal that's... I don't know, like, punched out and forged on top. Decided to stop by the Mark Collective in Venice, which I've never been to before. We wanted to see because I feel like Venice just has a very nice vibe. Like, look at these items. So pretty. Um, so just checking things out. Look how cool this is made of popsicle sticks. It's called tramp art, which I actually did not know. Um, I find it so interesting though. This one's curated so well. Look at this chair. This tramp art box is insane. And we're back 
at my house. Now guys, I have so many items to share with you. I cannot believe how much I actually found this trip. So I have found so many cute items that are gonna be styled throughout the house as we work room to room. And I just wanna get right into it because there is a lot. The first thing you guys probably saw me get was this teapot and I love this teapot. It looks exceptional in my kitchen. Like I just think it's so pretty. It was only $40 at the estate sale and I think it is so interesting. I actually Google lensed it and found a very similar one for $7.50 online but it was on first dibs and we all know about how that works. If you've watched my kitchen videos, you know that I'm doing a lot of copper and brass and even stainless steel, like really mixing metals throughout the kitchen and so I think this is gonna be a great addition. I found the cutest taper holder in the entire world. It has crowns on it. How freaking cute is this? Now this I actually found on Facebook Marketplace, believe it or not. It was a shippable item. I don't remember where it was from, but sometimes I just get items put on my Facebook Marketplace and I realize they're shippable and this was one of those items I just could not pass up. Like the little brass details on the top of the crown, like the tiny little balls and then even the brass like around the cup here. I love anything with the tripod base as you guys know. So this to me was just absolute perfection. I think I paid like $20 for it, like shipped. Great. Now this is a really cool find. It is like a stoneware baker. Now I'm not going to use this. It's probably going to be more of a styling prop. I'll probably save it for another kitchen makeover or something, but I just couldn't pass it up. You guys saw this art that I ended up getting. I thought this was super cute. I think I'm gonna put this in the vintage drop just because I love the velvet mat. I've never seen like an amber velvet mat like that. And I also love a small oil painting, like just really, really small. I think you could pop these anywhere and they make a nice little impact. You might be able to see this one in the back here, but you guys, look at this candelabra. It's a five candle candelabra. It's actually a very similar metal tone to this one here. And it has, again, a tripod base. It's also very, very heavy uh, and just a high quality piece. Like you can see all the metal forge work on here. I just find it to be such a unique taper holder. I love this. I got another taper holder too, because how could I not pass this one up, you guys? Like, look how cute this taper holder is. It's like a little leaf, but I loved how organic the actual vine of this little, um, kind of like the leaf stem, and it went up into this flower here, and I love how the flower looks kind of molten. All around, I just feel like this piece kind of gives like a brutalist aesthetic. I just love it, and I thought it was so unique. I couldn't pass this one up. It's completely forged too, like there's nothing holding it together, no screws or anything. I love looking for studio pottery. I love looking for studio pottery, and when I found this one, I just was obsessed. I'm so excited about this, but I love the colors in it. I love the print on it. Whoever did this did such a great job. I think it's so pretty. And the top, a circle lid, and it's just like a square jar. How great is that? And the inside's glazed. The bottom is actually signed. It has like a hole. Like, look how cool the sculpting of that lid is. I think it's so pretty. And then the design. I shared this one in the video and I thought this would be so cute in a nursery or something like maybe if I was doing one in the future So I'm probably gonna keep this I just thought she was so sweet and for the price point of this one I couldn't pass it up. It's like an unfinished piece as well, which I love when they're kind of unfinished Just look how cute she is. I had to get her. I got a woven rattan bowl I thought this one was really pretty It's like a perfect fruit bowl size as well and it's footed so it kind of elevates it a bit I like it. It's like sculptural. It has texture to it. It's a warm tone. It's everything I love and a piece of home decor. I got this little jar and I thought it was so cute. I love the color of the top, like this dark brown in the stone. It's so pretty. It lifts up like this. Something about this just screams like bathroom, a little bathroom canister, and the coloring on it was just perfection. I need to take this tag off, but couldn't pass this piece up. You might scream when I share with you these sconces I found. When I saw these on the wall, I ran to them ran like full-on ran these are wall candle sconces and they hold a snuffer so you put this on the wall and then your little taper candle goes right here and then you have your snuffer on the back i think that is the cutest thing something that serves like a multi-purpose this actually was a set of two i got two of them with the snuffers i couldn't believe the snuffers were actually like still intact with the piece because I feel like that would be something that could be lost over time. And I think it might have been one of the most exciting moments I've had like thrifting or antiquing, which sounds so strange. Like Drew, why do you care so much about the sconce? I don't know. I love a snuffer and I love a sconce. So having them both in one, I was like, 
from the same antique booth that I got this studio pottery jar, I also got this one. So I think they might be from the same person. Maybe not though, because the handwriting on the bottom does kind of look different, but I loved this one. Look how cute the actual pattern is on here. Just like a nice geometric. I thought the natural clay color mixed with this orangey amber tone was so pretty. And it's just a great little plant pot. I love the organic look of it as well. Sticking with the copper and gold at an estate sale, I found these three little like chalices but I thought they were so pretty. Look at the patina on the copper and then it has a little kind of brass base to it. There's only three of them, so I got them. I think they wanted like $8 for all three, so I couldn't pass them up. Another Facebook Marketplace find. This candle holder, check this out. I cannot wait to style this. I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. I feel like it needs to go on like a credenza or on top of like um, a buffet unit or something like that just so it has its own moment. But it is a piece of driftwood and they've added in these little taper candle holder pieces and I love it. So the bottom's completely flat and then it just looks like that. I'm going to be probably styling this somewhere upstairs in the dining room, I'm thinking. I got this birdhouse as well. It's kind of like a primitive style birdhouse, but you know, we we have the courtyard outside, so we have a lot of outside to fill, and I thought might as well start collecting some birdhouses because I think this one was so cute, and it was $14, so it has this kind of railroad tie that the bird would sit on, and then there's the actual little birdhouse inside, and just this nice kind of like distressed metal, and it's just a really cute, very like primitive birdhouse. Another cool candle holder. I've never seen one like this, actually. It is a brass one, and then it has this handle so you could essentially hold it like this and walk around with it but then i just have a feeling that this with an actual candle in it is going to illuminate the brass it's going to be so beautiful like get this really really warm glow and it's going to bounce off and the last couple things i'm going to share are actually right here so you guys saw me get these little wooden chairs i love the little wooden chairs are actually children's chairs so i don't know what i'm going to do with them yet they could be like plant stands the shape of them i'll try to hold one up to share with you guys I just loved it. Now the front on this one broke off when we were moving it, but we still have it, so I'm gonna attach it. I just thought it was so cute, the shape of that chair. And I got one other kind of smallish furniture piece, which was this stool here, and it's like a handmade stool, and then the bottom, the legs are attached on, and it has this kind of big paddle arm. It says arts and crafts style turned wood stool. Um, and I thought it was just really, really pretty. It's like very heavy and substantial as well. Again, this is like a great plant stand. And that is really everything I picked up on my last antiquing hauls. I do have a couple of like pencil sketches and watercolors back here as well that I got, but some of them have nudity and I don't even know if I'm allowed to show that. So I'm just gonna like not, you know? I do wanna thank you all so, so much. And if you have yet to see my last video on Thursday about the antique and vintage shopping hacks, I highly, highly recommend that. I'll put a card up in the screen and I'll also put a link to that video in the description box below but I will catch you guys all in my next one hopefully we are going to be starting in a new room in the next video I actually need to start planning out what we are going to be working on next but I'll see you guys on the channel on Thursday bye